So for 10 years, I've been asking everybody who will listen to send in their best unbeatable bar scams, magic tricks, and puzzles to brianatshwood.com. And I've noticed that half the time, it's either something we've covered before or my scam school senses are so attuned that I'm able to suss it out. But this is a rare opportunity because we're here with David Rowan. That's me. And most importantly, hanging out with Lincoln. What up? Uh, Lincoln's on my team. Oh, never mind. I take back my yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we were trying to think up ideas for a Scam School episode, and you came up with seven logic puzzles. You don't know which of these I already know. I don't. I didn't watch all 700 episodes. But I think it's important to remind people that when it comes to the closers, there are hardballs and softballs. Hardballs are those unbeatable puzzles that you're confident will earn you a free drink because the question is so agonizing and the answer is so satisfying. But even if it's a bustable puzzle, those are important softballs that you can offer as a way to build up people's confidence. So as Lincoln and I try to solve your seven puzzle gauntlet, I want everybody at home to know that even if we get it right, that doesn't mean that there's not value in the puzzle. All right, what do you got? All right, bring it. So I'm gonna introduce you to a group of friends. Susan is 10, Isabella is 20, Jim and John are both five, Richard is also 10, and Jennifer is... Say it again, say it again, say it again. Susan is what? Susan is 10. Hold on, stop right there. Yeah, I've got this one. Isabella is 20. Jim and John are both five. Richard is Oh wait, is no, also no 10. I don't, I don't. And Jennifer is... Jim and John are both five. Both That's five. the one messing me up. I feel it, like if you're playing on words, vowels and consonants maybe have different values. Like John is five, there's four letters, there's one vowel. Almost always when I see these puzzles, it's like whether it's a loop or a curve or a straight, like boobs would be uh, six because it's the, of all the closed loops in, in the word boobs. Uh, I feel like it's one of these type things. Jim and John are both Hellman. Jim and John are both five. So I guess the criteria is, would I buy a beer for the answer? The answer is yes. So that's, that's one for you. What's the answer? Syllables. Jim and John are five. One syllable equals five. Richard oh. is 10. Ah. Susan is 10. Isabella is 20. And so Jennifer is? 15. 15. 15. Yeah, all right. You get a A plus on challenge, a B plus on satisfaction of the answer. Hit us again, hit all us right. again. So, I've got four matches in a perfectly aligned plus pattern. Moving just one match, you have to make a perfect square. I recuse myself from this one because we definitely did it on Scam School. Oh, okay. I know right. the answer. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you an A plus because I did. Challenge. Because I also picked this one. One just match. Moving only one match. Moving you a, gotta make a, a single perfect match. Square. You make a moving perfect square. One. I no. I, I don't. I. You got nothing. So, no. so you would buy a beer? Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready? Right. Boom! Perfect square. <laughs> <laughs> so these next ones are without Lincoln. <laughs> Enjoy YouTube. All right. What else you got? What else you uh, got? By the way, how are we scoring this? I guess that's one for David, one for Brian, Team Brian and Lincoln. So using these letters. L-G-N-E-A, I will bet you one beer you cannot give me three words that use these letters. All three the, real all words. That use all of they the letters. all five letters. <sighs> na, 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 Nagel? Nagel, Nagel, that uh, was the I, artist from the 80s. I don't believe that's gonna count, but... Yeah, 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 Glean. Yeah, yeah. Glean. What's that? Glean. Glean, there you go, Glean. Wait, Next Glean, is, Glean is, is that one. one of them? Glean is one. Okay, Glean, I'm gonna count Nagel. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm gonna buy you a beer for all the right. third. <laughs> uh, all right, wait, wait, spill it, spill it. All right, so uh, Glean is actually the hardest one to get. The other ones are Angle and Angel. So people will get Angle and they'll get Angel, but Glean is actually the toughest one to get. That's pretty good. <sighs> Scores two to one. I don't like this, I don't like this. I'm starting to feel like I'm replaceable by a younger, taller, handsomer magician. All right, what do you got next? What up? So. Here's one. You've got uh, some Roman numerals here. The wind might get in our way, but we'll make seven. No, well, here, take that wind. I'm gonna there, cover the yes. table in beer. Yes. There you go. Beer is the answer. Actually, that works. It does, yeah, <laughs> I'm good with it. There we go. Seven equals one. So. I'm instantly recusing myself because we definitely did this one on Scam School, but right. I wanna know if Lincoln can solve it. You have to move one match 
to make it accurate. Or you die. <laughs> Boy, that's taking it to the next level. <laughs> or you owe me a free drink. Tomato, tomato. Only one stick. Only one Only stick. Only one. This is actually one of my all-time favorites. This is like one of my go-to closers. What do you got? What do you got? You got it? I have nothing. No, I by, don't, ha by I don't way, have it. By the way, everybody always says that, you know, does, does not, not equal, equal, but that's, you got to make it clear that there's no does not equal. Yeah, I, I owe another drink. Okay. Uh, another may drink. I? This one goes to Team Brian and Lincoln because I know yeah. that the answer is the square root of one square equals one. Square root of one is one. Right? That, that's a good one. Holy cow, we're tied up. We're tied up. I feel I feel like now's a good time for us to toast. Take yes. a moment, take a moment to consider where it's gonna go from here. Ah, there's nothing better than a fresh, raw vegetable salad. But you need domains. You need them to be fast, easy, reliable. That's why I recommend you go to domain.com. Get a top-level domain like a .com or a .net. Not only will you get instant credibility, but you'll be getting your minimum requirement of domains and not eating a salad. You guys gotta stop with the salads. That's, you're not getting any domains in your salads. I understand you might think it's expensive to get a domain, but if you use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, you'll get 15% off. You can't do this. You can't just keep eating salads. You've gotta get a domain. <laughs> we all, we all need domains, don't we? Listen. Listen, I know that not a lot of you guys are thinking about domains, but I am, because they have my daughters. And if you eat one more goddamn cherry tomato, there's going to be, no, 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 come on guys. No, come on, be cool. Come on lady, don't, no, 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 not a, oh for crying out loud. You can have salads.net, I'm pretty sure you can buy it. Salads.pizza. There's so many domains you can get. Please just stop eating the salad. Oh God. All right, two to two, two to two. I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay. I feel Here's like I have validation. This one is uh, a bit tricky. If men are worth $32, what are women worth? Is this going on the internet? Yeah, there, <laughs> see, there is no right answer. There is. You know what, instantly, straight to the premiere yeah. on that one. That's the <laughs> only safe route. Bowing out. Uh, that, that, that's the blackjack dealer going. <laughs> that is the correct. That is the correct response. So, the basic idea is you translate every letter into its numerical equivalent in the alphabet. So if you do that for men, you get 32, because an M is 13, an E is 5, and an N is 14. Right. So you've got 27 plus 5, 32. Right. And then so women equal 70. Women are worth more than men. Yay! Okay, man. My gut says that you should have a couple of other examples. Yeah. Men are worth blank, dogs are worth blank, robots are worth blank. So, so you set up a one, two, three, four, and then you're like, what are, in this world, what oh, are women, women worth? Perfect. In the original yeah. one, they do 10. So 10 is the other, 10 is worth oh, no, this. No, no, no. It's always better to put a human element on everything. Anthropomorphize Yes, everything. exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's another thing, is always know your audience and know how much you can give them to get them close, but not enough to get over the finish line right. to where they'll buy you a drink. That's good, that's good. So now we're at three to two. Yep. Home stretch here. Home we gotta stretch. get the next two, man. So you've got two equilateral triangles. Yeah. The challenge is to move one match, and one match only, and make four triangles. I don't like this grin that I see on your face, Irishwood, right, <laughs> with uh, your solution. Man, this is another one I'm calling. I'm calling for me, but I'm gonna let Lincoln try to solve it. Lincoln, can you make four triangles? Moving one match. You would Two sides see of a triangle does not equal a triangle. You are not going to like this yeah, one. Yeah, multi -dim you, you multi dimensional triangle. Like it goes back to the square. Yeah. Um, see, that's uh, the thing is we start with the square, so you think of something like that. I'm just excited that we're going to tie it up. We're about to tie it up. Are you ready? Brian's Brian got it. I, 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 Brian's got it. A four, four triangle. triangles. <laughs> So the really good closers are one that have a clue that only after the fact you realize was a clue. Right. So I'd say be loose in your language and say, this is what we got now. We need four triangle. Oh, not even put the S on. Correct. Because then it's like it's like you gotta get from here somehow and get to four triangle. Honestly, yeah. I don't think I would have gotten it even if you had said four, four triangle. triangle. But but the nice thing is, is then then all of a sudden the moment you see it, you're like, it oh my four god, triangle. He intentionally he said, said it what weird. The thing was, yeah. Right? Four triangle. Yeah. Alright, dude. We are now at three and three. Half of these, I, I don't think I figured any of them out. I think all the ones that we got were because I had already seen them before. 
This is gonna be like the real tiebreaker. Number seven for the win. Throwing the curveball here. All right. All right, so I've got a piece of paper and I would like you to take the piece of paper and the scissors and cut a hole in the piece of paper that you can stick your finger through. Seems fairly simple. Excellent. <laughs> End of challenge, we won. <laughs> Step two, cut, cut a hole in there that you can put your entire fist through. There's no like, I can snip snip yeah. as much as I want. By the way, that was a good instinct where you immediately, if you're the victim of one of these, you immediately start asking, can I blank, can I blank, can I blank, can I blank? Oh, right, there we go. Okay, so that took up most of the paper. So the challenge this time is to cut a hole in this piece of paper that you can walk through. And go. <laughs> okay, this is another one. I'm gonna recuse myself. Of course, yeah. Because I will say in the 10 year history of Scam School, this is one of the number one most requested tricks, and I always thought, but it hasn't been done. This is really all I've got. I don't know what <laughs> hijinks. Oh. <laughs> see, see, we, we spoiled you with all the earlier stuff. We went, oh, this is gotta wonderful. Be a, a trick of like breaking the paper. But no, you can actually keep the paper intact and create a hole in it that you can walk through. You wanna try it one more time? You try this again, and I'm gonna talk real quick about something. Uh, there's a concept called the curse of knowledge. Are you familiar with this? The idea is once you learn something, you can never unlearn it. And if you learn it at an early age, you inherently assume everybody knows it. This one I happened to learn way back when I was a kid, and that's why I've never been able to bring myself to do it on Scam School, because I perceive it as a kid's trick. Right. But meanwhile, Lincoln clearly perceives it as a bigger challenge. Right, but the funny thing is, I say I'm the same way, but I've never seen it in the wild. Also, like, you could tell Lincoln is so, like he's seriously dialed in on figuring this out. Oh, this is wonderful. In fact, at this point, I'm now on David's team. I don't want to give up a beer, <laughs> but also it's take, like- Take I, your time, take your time. David and I, we're on a team. I, I know, I-, I Get up? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. May I, sir? Go, oh, you have most absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. We're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna cut a few strips from the middle outward. And then we're gonna cut a few strips bisecting them inward. And then finally, we're just gonna cut these middle sections all the way across. Except for the ones in the ends. Right, and then you get a fantastic paper portal that you can walk through. Oh, would you like to do the honors, my friend? <laughs> I'm going head first. There you go, there you go, there you go. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, it looks good. It's a good look on you. It's just a little oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a beer, that's a beer. I am so happy. Yeah. Nice. It's that's right, nice. totally nice. worth it. Yeah, yeah. David Rowan, what a collection. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Lincoln, what a good sport. We'll take those beers. Huge, huge thanks to David Rowan for bringing us this gauntlet, man. You already know that openers, tweeners, and closers are the way to get a free beer, but that lesson about the curse of knowledge, what you think is garbage might be somebody else's mind-blowing treasure, remember that as you perform magic at the bar. Speaking of which, where do you want to see the show go, man? Hit me up with your comments over at twitter.com slash schwood. There is no C in schwood. And if you haven't seen it already, you know you got to check out The Modern Rogue, where Jason Murphy and I are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman warrior and scoundrels. Looks like this. Oh no, is this, I don't think we have much gas. This flamethrower is, is that a gas? It's gonna come down right to the very end. <laughs> That's cheating. That's fine. <laughs> oh, this is the last of the gas. Yeah, Jennifer is. A real piece of work. A now, real Jennifer. piece of work. <laughs> That's it, hey, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You, you do know they're recording all this, right? <laughs> it's not going to be in the outtakes. Like it's, it's, it's impossible for this moment to be in the outtakes. Oh, man. Amateur mistake. Yeah. Amateur mistake. Is this going on the internet?